I look a year older. You are a year older. You're a day older. One of us is older. A year. Even though I had a, a birthday. Year older. You're still and older. You're now a year and a day older. But than not you wiser. Were, but not wiser. Than you were Friday. <laughs> I'm a year older, but not a year wiser. Or is okay. it more wise? It should be more wise. You gotta push the comments over, please. Mm, this is how we always run into trouble. There we are. Yes. Hi, Renee. You know what? I think since this is the third Hi, week Jerry. in a row, this is the third week in a row, we swiped the comments over and didn't get that funky bar. Mm -hmm. I think we figured it out. I think we're good. I think we're pretty good at Vicky this. Vicky said happy birthday to you. Thank you. We were just discussing um, how I feel older but not wiser. <laughs> one of us, even though one of us had a birthday, but one of us is still older than one of us. And I'll just leave it at that. I don't care. I am older than you. Yes. And I have wiser. to keep you in line. Yes. <laughs> and I, Hi, Vanessa and Lauren. So, most days I don't feel old. Well, good. Unless I see a student that has, like, grandkids. Then I feel old. <laughs> Hi, Jody. Michigan. We miss Michigan. We haven't been anywhere in forever. Oh, like my forever. gosh. I just realized that. We haven't been, we haven't never, we have, it's kind of nice. We don't have to announce where we're going. But we're not usually, going anywhere. <laughs> usually we say, catch us in Michigan on the whatever. But we don't, but yeah, we're maybe. In Louisiana. Yes. A year. So we don't have to do. or something like that. Right. And so that's why Flourish Cafe sponsors us because we don't have to tell people where we're going. Okay. <laughs> we should get going. Um, look at all the happy birthday stuff. Yeah. Well, it's, that's very nice. It's probably the last day for birthday wishes because I'm kind of, I'm ready to well, move you on. you could do a birthday month if you want. Some yes. people do. I tried birthday years, but that got super confusing. <clears throat> so we should, okay, so first of all, um, we're going to introduce ourselves in a minute. But today, so one of my favorite dishes my mom used to make was this like sour cream cucumber salad. We always had it at picnics. It was a staple Part of the reason it was a staple is because we had mounds of cucumbers that my father used to grow. Hi, Vale. So this is what we did with cucumbers all the time. Of course, you take a perfectly wonderful, healthy cucumber and then destroy it with sour cream. But we're <laughs> going to show you how to get that amazing taste that brings me back to many, 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 many years ago when I was a kid. Um, and it tastes delicious. And yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. And no dairy. And no dairy, and it's it's very clean, uh, very healthy. Um, and, and bring back good memories. And bring back great yeah. memories. Um, and which leads me to the next thing, um, attitude adjustments, which does not bring back great memories because <laughs> I used to get a lot of attitude adjustments. But I was thinking today on my bike ride today. Sundays usually are long uh, exercise days. So you had a very long run and I had a very long ride. And it gives me time to think and decompress and um, just kind of churn thoughts up. And I thought about attitude. So I want to talk a little bit. I want to talk a little bit about attitude. Hi, Donna and Faye. And I know you're excited about talking about attitude as well. <laughs> I have a great uh, attitude tonight. Yeah, well, <laughs> yes, but it's not always like that for both of us or either of us. All right, you're right. Yeah, so mm -hmm. we should introduce ourselves first. Why don't you begin? I'm Heather Kaufman. Wait, maybe you should start off with good evening. Hello there. <laughs> no. Good evening. <laughs> good, good evening. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, go ahead, start. Wait, I, okay. Hello. Um, I am Tim Kaufman. And I'm Heather Kaufman. And we run a page called Fat Man Rants, and together we have lost 290 pounds. But more importantly, we've regained our health. We live a healthy, happy, and active life on a whole food. I pause there for effect. A whole food, uh, plant-based lifestyle. We come to you guys on Sunday nights to uh, hang out with you, maybe answer questions, um, maybe little advice tips tricks whatever um because we know what's what we did is out there for anyone um we were never really into 
Well, we were into food. We were into a lot of food. Um, but if we can do this. You can too. Yes. And I totally screwed that up, but it's okay because most of the time we nail that. <laughs> so <laughs> let's let's um, make our cucumber salad. All right. And in just a little, you know, I'll do the disclaimer when you flip the camera on me. All right. Let me back up here today because there's no dog right behind me. Yeah. Oh, there the gates up. They're here. So I can do this easier tonight. There we go. Okay. And the gate is up. So there won't be a dog. Maybe this late. But there could be a distraction if they decide <laughs> to bark. Well, we're not really cooking anything tonight. So maybe. Oh, they might hear me cutting. But that light seems super bright to me. Um, so I cheated a little bit. I went ahead and I cut up, what do you call those cucumbers? The I, think I think they're called Hot House. Something. Or English. There's a they're couple different English names, cucumbers, yeah. But the long, skinny ones, I prefer them. I like them better. Um, I don't know. They always seem more consistent. So I already cheated. I put one of them in here. And I have two cucumbers here. And the reason why I save them is because you have your choice here. This one, I'm doing this three different ways to show you three different methods, and I think they're all good. This one, I left full skin on. Um, these cucumbers are not the greatest. So what I can do is actually peel this right down. So I hope everyone knows how to peel a cucumber. And so I can peel this cucumber all the way. And it's gonna be okay. And my peeler sucks really bad. <laughs> All our good stuff is at the cafe. I think you say that every week. I do. <laughs> I realize that this thing is absolute garbage. So that's one. So I'm going to do one. All because now we're going to get fancy. This is when you're having company over and you want to impress them. This is the impressive way to peel. So what I'm going to do is actually, if I can do this, just try to take a nice even peel. And I'm going to peel every other one. And then when I cut them, it's going to look lovely. lovely. Um, so you can do this as well and do one more. And I screwed that up. But now what will happen when I cut this, um, it's going to look like, like, Ooh, we, like we're fancy. Very like, fancy. We're very fancy. <laughs> so, like so fancy, I can't even stand it. So you'll have no skin, then a little stripey or all. It doesn't really matter. English um, cucumbers. English. Yes. Hot house. Yeah. So another thing that I wanted to show you, and I'm going to do this on purpose. These cucumbers are a little bit big. So there's a couple things you can do. What you could do is cut them in half and then just drag your knife along this way. And then when you cut them, and the reason why I'm doing this is because this is a lot more salad like than these big um, giant things. So a lot of it's going to depend on what size cucumber you get. Um, I'm gonna do the same on this one. These, these are probably borderline, like you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna do this anyways. So basically, um, I'm just gonna get my cucumbers in here. I don't know, should I do all of them? Sure, Wait. it's not, yeah, you already got right. that other one. So people don't mind Started. Waiting. This one I'll leave whole, just so you can see the, the nice little stripies on it. It's going to be lovely. And, uh, they look like little wheels. Oh. Okay. So the land. Okay. So that's. I hope there's not too much in here. So I don't. I actually don't like these. I right, already well don't. Then like take them. them out. I already don't like them. They can get put in a they container. They look so big. Like, how could you use? Like, somebody can eat them tomorrow. Yeah, somebody with a giant mouth. <laughs> Yours. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna, Hi, Jen. We're going to cut these in half. All right. There we go. Now that's better. So here's just three cucumbers. The next thing I'm going to do, we got to hurry up because I told people this would only take five minutes. This salad, instead of me dicing these up, I like these in little half rounds. I have no idea why. I just prefer that way. Um, for most of my other salads, I'm going to chop these up finer. But for this, I like these little half rounds. And I think because they'll look a lot nicer as well. So I have about half of a small onion. If you want more onion, by all I means. I zoom in. Yeah, but so so I, I slice them very thin. See, they're very thin. Um, but I like the half. I like because I like to see them in there. 
Hey, our neighbor's mowing the lawn, and his mower is ridiculously loud, isn't it? That's all right. We're just going to pretend we don't hear it. Oh, I hear it. And don't say anything because we don't want any. Maybe. Well, you, you know, know he's not watching upset. if he's mowing his lawn. Okay, so no, now. No, no, no. We don't want anybody to start barking, so oh, let's not so, say anything. Okay, so listen. So is... you don't have to do this. This is totally optional. I just happened to open the fridge, and I saw these little cherry tomatoes in here, and I thought, oh, wouldn't that be a lovely little, you good? Yep. What happened? You had a phone call. <laughs> oh, don't answer it. Oh my gosh. Don't people know we're busy? <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to... At least it was on silent. Oh, no. Yeah, we don't have any fancy technology. Time. Okay, so I'm going to take... I just have these and... This is, uh, you could do some colored peppers if you had them. You don't, you want to really focus on a cucumber. So you want mostly cucumber. I want to so, zoom in again. Yeah, so zoom in here. So look at, I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. So that's, that's the, the base of our salad. Now, how do we make sour cream when we don't eat dairy products? I'm glad you asked. So we're going to make some sour cream now. And um, I kind of like this. I've never done this until... When we have some meal from two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. All right, we should have posted this, but pay attention. It's a super simple recipe. I'm going to take a garlic clove. That's the first thing I'm going to put in. When I do my Vitamix, I always put what I think is going to have trouble chopping. I put that down to the blade first. Um, the other thing I like to do is get liquid down there so I can start the process a lot easier. So I have one garlic clove. The next thing I'm going to do is put two tablespoons. Um, of lemon juice. Now this happens to be um, just organic lemon juice. If you have fresh lemon that would even be better and you wouldn't even have to get the juice out of it. You could just peel it, put it in there, done. Um, and then I'm going to take a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Um, normally we have Bragg's which has it's live but uh, today we just have this apple cider vinegar so we're going to put a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in there. Now, I'm going to go back to this, because I had people ask, I'm putting salt in here with the caps on, okay? So we don't, we don't use salt, um, but if salt is the difference between you eating this or not, put a little salt in there, um, a pinch, and it will, it will definitely help the sour cream taste better. Uh, we prefer it without salt. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I've pre-drained after three bloopers with tofu. I pre-drained the tofu. Now, this tofu is an organic, extra firm. Um, you could do this with almost any tofu that you have. Now, the one thing I will say about this, I didn't wring it out like I usually do. I'm not concerned if it's super dry. In fact, um, I might have to add a little water to this. If you want, you can break it up a little bit. And so, I might, I gotta see what's gonna happen, but I might have to add a, a lot, about a quarter cup of water to this. So then I'm gonna put my little cap on the Vitamix and I'm gonna blend this up to make my sour cream. Hopefully. show you guys what this looks like because because it's uh this texture is see how thick this is that's fine right that would work um this is great this right here is what we use on our tacos it's perfect texture and you know what i'm not going to thin it out. i'm just going to do that if you have to if you want it a little bit thinner you could totally put a little bit of water in there uh, maybe a couple spoonfuls at a time until you get the right texture you're not going to get it much thicker than that um, but so then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take eh, probably a cup of this i might end up doing the whole thing um, the other thing i should tell you is the longer this sits 
and marinates, the better it's going to taste. And the cucumbers are going to kind of sweat a little bit, so we don't want to get it too thin. Hi, Patricia from Gettysburg. Gettysburg. Hello, Doris and Jill. Doris says it looks delicious. Oh, it looks lovely, actually. And I should have had a little bit bigger of a bowl. Hi, Carolyn. Is that our Not bowl? our Carolyn. <laughs> oh, I got all excited. <laughs> okay, so here is what it looks like. And then there's one more, um, I guess, optional ingredient that you could do. Um, and I think it will kind of change the flavor a little bit. But I have... I could either go with parsley or dill. Dill. And yeah. I'm going to choose dill. Hi, <laughs> Melody and Michelle. And I'm just going to give a little nice, a healthy, healthy dill. Now, if you have fresh dill, this is where you want to use fresh dill. Definitely. And especially since we're using dill and we got the vinegar and we got the lime, so it's going to be a little tangy, a little sour. Um, and this is, this is actually less... Um, all right, two people said dill so far. Yeah, yes, dill lots is where of it's dill. At. Or, or you could do chives. Or fresh dill. Not tonight, though. Fresh dill, or you could do fresh chives would be great in this as well. So, I'm just gonna. This is great. Like, this is. Um, so, my mom used to cut these a little bit thinner. But. Yeah, my mom loved it too. Yeah, this is like. This was a staple <laughs> growing up. And I've never seen picnics and graduations. I've never seen tomatoes in it, but there you go. It's it's it literally five minutes, and I wish you guys could taste it because it really does taste like sour cream. It and really really does. asked about some uh, ground pepper on it. Yes, you could do that as well. All right, and I flipped it back over this way. Now I gotta try to sit down without tipping over. You might in be in the chair. Oh, that would be hilarious. Sorry. To Shook everybody up. Okay. Oh no, it's gonna collapse. No, don't collapse. People are gonna get mad. Hi, we, Bob. <laughs> from Ohio. We Canada. haven't. We haven't. We have not dropped people in so long. <laughs> so okay. So this is really good. Honestly, it's it's really good. It really does taste like sour cream, oh, um, it and it's lovely. it's refreshing, and it's not gonna focus. We needed the B-roll camera from... Oh, next the, week. The guy called in again. <laughs> so, yes, so if you missed the start, it's, this is so stinking easy. So we just started with cucumbers, mostly cucumbers. We did put some red onions in there. And then we also put some cherry tomatoes, cause just because we had them. You could totally do sweet peppers. And then we just put a garlic clove. Um, two tablespoons of lemon juice, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and then we put a block of tofu on there, spun it all up, it got nice and, and creamy, and then we just mixed it all together and put some dill on it, but you could put parsley or chives or whatever. Hi, Xavier. What? I know you love our food. I'm glad you do. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Okay, so that's your, what do we call it? Cream, cool. no, oh, cool, creamy, cool cucumber, cucumber salad. salad. Yeah, <laughs> just like Mama used to make without the cholesterol or dairy. Well, all yeah. right, yes, yeah, same, same thing. thing. I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you only get okay, whatever. Okay, so we're talking now. About attitude. Yeah, about attitude. And attitude no, is everything. I have attitude because you were teasing me. You do have an attitude, but sometimes <laughs> it's all right. Okay, so I so this okay, so I want to make this quick because she, Heather ran 16 miles today, and she's super tired. Um, and it's kind of fun to get back into these long runs until you get to almost the end. And realize you still have a little ways <laughs> to go. <laughs> but so so okay, so you get really mad at me for doing this. No, I won't do it. I will do it in a minute. So you read a definition of attitude, and I totally forgot what you said it was. But um, basically, what you read, like Webster's definition of it, and you it don't again. you don't okay. have to get it. But the main thing that interested me about attitude, after the definition, is how it it says right in the dictionary can affect one's behavior. Yes. Right. Remember that it was yes. like two minutes ago. Mm -hmm. And so, um, can okay, time out. So Elizabeth, 
uh, as far as cookbooks go, um, we love sending cookbooks all over the place, but the easy way to do it is go to my website, click on buy stuff. I think it's called buy stuff and there's a free PDF. You can have it for absolutely free. It's actually the same manuscript that I sent to the publisher. Uh, so you don't have to buy it. You don't have to pay for it. Just download the PDF file and it's yours forever. And you can print it out and do whatever you want with it. You can put it on your phone, screen, shoot it, whatever you got to do. They're out there for a hundred percent free. Um, and you should do that. Yes. Yes. And then we don't have to mail things because sometimes I forget. Okay. So, okay. That, that was a break from our sponsor. Now we're back okay. to attitude. So <laughs> attitude. So my mom used to give me attitude adjustments a lot. Yes. I wonder why. Because I needed them. <laughs> but that's not what I'm talking uh. about. So this is what I noticed. This is what I noticed. Um, a, so I'm going to talk about fitness. But it's going to do the same thing when it comes back to food. Okay. So have you ever noticed this? But neither of us like treadmills. We love to be outside. Even though we live in Buffalo, we love to be outside. Mm -hmm. So you get on a treadmill and you put a number. It doesn't matter what number. A number. And you're pushing yourself. And when you start complaining, it's like, oh my gosh, this is so hard. It actually is. It's torture. They, mm -hmm. That's why they call it the treadmill. It's harder. They call it the treadmill. And it's just all you think about is how terrible this is. And you're looking at the time and you're counting the time down. Here's what's interesting. The next day, you can get on the treadmill same and have a different attitude. And you can actually do this mid-treadmill. Mid all of a sudden, it's like, no, this is good. This is, this is not hard at all. I could do this all day. And all of a sudden, it just becomes easier. Like, significantly easier. Like, it's so noticeable. When you change your attitude, it changes. Nothing has changed on the treadmill. The numbers are the same. You're the same. You haven't moved. But just this mental thing of like, no, this is not that hard. It gets mm -hmm. easier. Right. Have you ever noticed that? Yes. How about an outside run? Yes. Same thing. Yeah. And, and, and the attitude, whether it's good or bad, who cares if it's good or bad? The attitude tends to snowball, right, and get inside our heads. So it right. could be good or bad. So, so do you have any example? <laughs> I'm going to be in trouble for this. Do you have any examples? of when you were on a run or anything where the attitude just took over and got the best of you. In a good way or a bad way? Oh, bad. Let's do negative. We love being negative, negative here. Hmm. So I'll have to think of a specific. I'm going to be in trouble for putting I her on the spot. This. I don't know. Um, let's see. Well, it could be... I mean, it could be a couple things. It could be going out for a run and knowing it's going to be a long one and mm. maybe... I got one. Oh, okay. Uh, no, I got one for you. Okay. No, when you go to work. When you go to work. Was get, yeah. Oh, okay. Go on. Well, sometimes, sometimes the same job that we've done every time for years and, and decades, some days it's like... Oh, this was actually fun today. And other days, like, I can't stand this. Right. So what changes? My attitude. I have to either just... Well, before I... <laughs> if I didn't want to do it and it was just me, I'd leave, pack it in, and go home and come back the next day. But now I can't do that anymore. So when there's... Um, Sometimes it'll be going along really well, and then all of a sudden there will be a really bad mess, and it'll kind of yes. make me angry that people are so messy. Ignorant. Yes. <laughs> and that's but a good one. That's a good one. Then I have to re reel myself back in after I'm complaining and say, why do you think you're here? Yeah. You're here because you got to clean up after them. So, no, so that's, that is great because that's actually a perfect example of one stupid thing out of 24 buildings sets the tone for the rest of the day and it's the same with running or whatever like you you know you know like a like a flat tire like you get a flat tire it's like it just takes the wind out of your so it's not really a big deal change the flat move on um but we but that's us doing that and 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 it happens you know we're using fitness and work but it happens with food too um, you know, you get a recipe out that's complicated and you go to your cupboard and you're supposed to have arrow root or something. You don't have it. It's like, I can't do this. 
order pizza. And that attitude, um, it, it kind of dictates how hard or how easy something is. Right. B- but at the same time, um, what I noticed today, and the reason why we're talking about this, is because I went for a ride today, and the object of my ride was actually to keep an eye on you on your run. So I had no goals, um, I had no distance, I had no time, and I, I was just going out for a fun, enjoyable ride. And this is what I noticed. Then my ride last week, like, I was dying. Like, I wanted to I wanted to get off that bike so bad because I was giving everything I had. It was, it was just, it was miserable. But what I noticed is just kind of moping around up and down, you know, I did like 25 miles. I didn't push. It just, I just had a nice day. And then when I looked at the data, they were almost identical rides. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that changed was how I perceived what was happening in the moment. Right. And it's the same thing when I've had a a run, I'll think, oh my gosh, I got that far to go. I'm never going to make it. And then it's a miserable, awful run because I'm com- looking at my watch, wanting to get back, wanting to get back. Yeah. Or I want to go a little quicker. And then today it was, I'm going out, I'm going to get this done, and it's going to be rough at certain times, but I'm just going to go. I'm going to take my time, and if I have to do a little walk and then pick it back up again, that's what I was going to do today. 100%. And that's amazing. So, you know, so, so that... That is a very useful tool in our arsenal. Like it, it's a very useful tool because you actually, okay, I know this is gonna sound like wonky or hippie-ish, but you have the power, right, to actually control your attitude. Like you have total control over that, which means technically that you have the power to have a good run, a good plate of food, a good day of staying plant-based, a good business meeting. It's all how you perceive it, like right. in your head. And and if you let that mindset go positive, it can also start snowballing. Like, like I mean, I, I've come home sometimes where you're just telling yourself, oh man, that was really, what a nice day, what a beautiful day. And I, you know, I come home, yeah, I'm tired, but I feel great when I get off the bike or, and yeah. And, and I think in, if you dwell on the negative, I think then more negative happens. And yes. then you get more upset because this didn't work out the way you wanted it to. So then you start just bad-mouthing yourself. And then by the time you get done with whatever you're doing, you're so upset with yourself. You have a rotten night and you just yeah. don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah. And it yeah, it just takes the wind out of your sails. Right. And it's not a good way to live. Which brings us to attitude Point number two, and final point, um, by the way, is attitude, okay, this is totally hinging off the corona thing, um, is contagious. That attitude, you know, it's not just you having a bad attitude. It's everyone around you. And so when me and you, you know, back before my ankle thing, we would do a lot of running together. Um, When I was miserable, (laughs) it couldn't help but make you miserable. Like, Cause I didn't I, want to be with you. I want yeah, to get done. Yeah, Go home just, to get away from yes, you. Yes, <laughs> yes. And so your attitude is just not about you. Like it's it to think that you can have a bad attitude and have it not affect anyone is selfish. It's straight selfish thinking. And so there's a there's a little more dynamics to that too because not only is a bad attitude contagious, it goes everywhere. But you know what the cool part about it is? What? A good attitude is also contagious right and that's amazing to me and so we like i think and i'm in in the most non-arrogant way i can say this we have had a lot of people in our lives um adopt a whole food plant-based diet and it's not because you know we educated them or you know we told them what they're doing wrong because they see what we have right Mm -hmm. and they see you know that we're having fun and you know, we act like kids that, like, we're, like, 93 now. <laughs> and we still act like children sometimes. And we go Some outside. Of us more than yeah, and, well, you know, I was thinking about this today. I was thinking about this today. You know, I was telling, I, was, I forget even who I was talking to. That's how old I am. I forget who I was talking to. But I was saying that, you know, Sunday, like, is our day off, but we make sure it's, like, our big play day. It's so weird, like... Our day off used to be like just sack out on the couch and never get out of your pajamas. Now it's like we're up at six o'clock. Like 
we got big stuff to do today and and it's fun and we have fun with it and so when people start hearing um that how you're living is fun mm -hmm. and they want what you have you know they, they don't even care what it is they just say if i can be as happy if i can have that good of an attitude i will do whatever you're doing that's powerful look at that's two powerful well, and things I, and you had even told me something that someone said the other day is um <clears throat> If you do, you know, like we've been talking, if you set out when, unfor you know, this has to do with running, sorry. It's just so I happen to think of this. Um, if I set out running and I'm hurt, um, I know I'm going to hurt anyways, well, then when I start to hurt, if I just start dwelling on that instead of um, trying to get away from that and just try to focus myself another way um, to not dwell on that pain, then you can finish and it was even today um, there was a big sign on the road and I can't remember where it was and I couldn't find it on my way back and it said keep smiling and when I started to you know feel rough and it was my I was getting really sore and stuff I just kept thinking I saw that sign keep smiling and I yeah. kept going and I've noticed that too I used to I wrote a blog post one time that says I found perpetual Mm, perpetual motivation that's what it is the bigger I smile the better I feel the better I feel the more I want to do and um, I kind of made a joke out of it but it's so true that just you know just smiling just smiling can make you feel like a million bucks and you forget about the little things you know the little twitches and and this you know again we're, we're going with the uh, endurance or fitness but this is true in life altogether if you go into a meeting with a bad attitude because you don't like the dude that you're talking to and you know he always talks too much he's probably like me uh and and you want to get out of the meeting you know when you go in with that attitude it it tends to what, what do we we just watch some other the law of attraction right it, it, that's what tends to happen mm -hmm. because that's where your focus is but yeah so i don't want to I don't want to beat this to death, but attitude is so, so important on so many levels. Mm -hmm. It's just not you having a pity party. It's you having a pity party that transfers to people around you having a pity party. And it's hard to get out of that mindset, you know. Mm -hmm. So so there's always something to be grateful for. There's always something, you know, positive in, in any situation. If you really want to look for it, it's there. It might be some work to dig up the good stuff. But it's there if you want it. And we've experienced right. this through, even right up, you know, this is kind of morbid, but right up through death, um, we've been with people that, that always, you know, have a ray. And I don't want to get you trying, but like even your mom always had something good. You know, there was something good about the day, mm -hmm. no matter what her circumstance. Right. So it's important. It's important. And focusing on others, too, is a great thing to do. Exactly. That's exactly yes um and so i see we got stars tonight and i'm not really sure what they do they yeah, i don't know what that is i don't know really either but i mean but but thank you for the stars <laughs> thank you. Uh, facebook sends me i do these, like stars actually yeah, so well, thank you facebook sends me these things and i don't know what half of them are but we learned how to get the little bar off of our and so that's a step <laughs> four but anyways so let's cucumber salad uh, make it let us know how it came out um, mm -hmm. because I love this stuff and um, it's a great way to enjoy cucumbers and it's a great way to take some kind of a light uh, side dish and turn it into you know part of your meal and you know there's nothing wrong with a huge bed of greens and piling a lot of those cucumbers on there it'll mm -hmm. fill you up it's delicious your stomach will feel full it's full of fiber and it's full of water because hydration is so important right now yes it is for a lot of people that don't drink enough water. Yes. I don't know who that is. But in any event, um, it's been fun. It's been fun. Yep. Any, do you have anything to I'm add? I'm waiting to try this salad. Yes. Let's show them one more time. Can we do that? Oh, and Bruce just is off the couch and he says it's time to go. Because <laughs> he wants a cucumber. Yes. So we're going to help. So we got, we got Rosetta Stone and we learned dog language. So we're going to tell you what Bruce is saying right now. Okay. Ready? Eat plants. Move your body. All you got to do is a little more than you did yesterday. See, he agrees. Bruce approved this message. Take care. Have bye a bye, great Bye-bye, guys. Week. We'll see you next week.